Hey guys, Sam Patmore here from Dutch Moy Personal Training Studios in London. Just wanted to make this quick video for you to show you a way to improve your chin ups. Now, I see lots of people in the gym trying chin ups, really only doing two or three reps uh, and not really making much progressions. So, here's a video just to break it all down for you, put it into to baby steps, and hopefully, um, by following this process, you too will improve your chin up. So, if you're very new to chin ups, you haven't done many before. Here's the way that I'll suggest to start off. So, if you look here, I've got myself a stool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do whatever I can in my power to get above the bar, and then I'm going to control down for five seconds. So, my muscles are under tension for five seconds in that range. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm only building strength in my lowering phase, or my, what we would say, eccentric phase. It also means I get the same strength carryover for the lifting phase, okay? So, to show you for a few reps, I'm just going to go through two reps to show you. So bring my stool near the chin-up bar, up over the bar, five down. One, two, three, four, five. Back on the stool. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Um, when it comes to reps and sets, I'd always suggest trying to get in 30 repetitions. So even if that requires 10 sets of three reps, or even if it's one, uh, th sorry, 30 sets of one rep, okay? Just try and get 30 in, okay? So once you start finding that low on phase easy, okay? We're then gonna go to position holds. So I'm gonna come down a third of the way, I'm gonna hold for five seconds, I'm gonna come just past halfway, hold for 30 seconds, then just off of arms fully extended, hold for five seconds. Okay, so it looks a bit like this, I'm just gonna do two reps for you. So again, up over the bar, any way possible, so I'm just gonna jump up. Okay, third of the way, one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four, five, just off the bottom, one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, so we're doing these isometric holds at three different points. Lots of people think with an isometric hold that they only build strength in that one set range. Now you, it's, you actually get a 15 degree carryover either way of that position you're holding, okay? So I'm not only building strength in one range, but I'm building strength 15 degrees down and 15 degrees up from that. So you can see how it starts all linking together. So after that, I'm then going to progress into full pull-ups. Now pull-ups, make sure there's no swinging. You're trying to just really isolate the back muscles. Um, so it looks a bit like this. One grip. Okay. So once you get to that standard and you find 30 reps, uh, not a problem. To make it a bit harder, you can try doing kind of bilateral chin ups. So you're just going to try and isolate one side more than the other. So I'm just going to pull up to my right hand side, then pull up to my left. Okay? Which looks like this. Okay, guys, once you're at that level, you should be um, doing pull ups for fun, like I said. Try and get to 30 reps in each session, so you've got enough volume to, to increase in the progressions. Uh, and that's it from me today, so give it a go, and I'll hear, uh, you'll hear from you soon.